Okay, so um, I wasn't gonna make a video on this patch note because I already made it in the other one, but <laughs> I I'm curious, alright? So either uh, CM Gold, our best friend, made uh, the worst mistranslation of his life, or global buffed mono. It's either or. It could be either or. What I mean by that, I'll go straight to the point. There's more stuff to the uh, maintenance and stuff, but let me go straight to the point. In the, in the, you know, info for Mono, she is the singular character on the step up. Um, you get her guaranteed, whatever. And her info is quite different. So these are her cards. Uh, by the way, this is the this debuff card, the poison card, that has been buffed on GP, so eventually will be buffed. Um, the ultimate same. The passive, either, unique, whatever, either, this is a terrible mistranslation, or it's one of the best buffs I've ever seen ever. So, her regular wording, this is the current wording we know of, increases damage dealt by 50% if attacking enemies with bleed, poison, or shock, meaning if the enemy has bleed, she does extra 50% damage. If the enemy has bleed, poison, and shock, she'll do 50% damage. There's no extra. But the wording for the global version is increases the hero's damage dealt by 50% per bleeding, poison, and shock debuff when attacking a new set debuffs. Meaning, if the enemy has bleeding, she does 50%. If the enemy has bleeding, poison, and shock, she does 150% because it's per debuff. Though, okay, again, this is either the worst mistranslation I've ever seen or the best buff ever. Because I'm telling you, if this is a future buff for JP, Mono will become one of the best characters in the game. Unironically. Because currently, one of the best teams in the game is King and Hendrickson, right? King applies poison, Hendrickson applies shock and bleed turn one. Th that's, that's how it goes. You go first if you can, you apply the shock, the bleed, and the poison. And if you have mono, should be doing extra 150% damage instead of, instead of only 50%. I've tested that. I've tested uh, on, my, um, on my showcase for mono, I was using that team. Yeah, well, my showcase for Mono was using that team, and she did quite okay, actually. She didn't do the worst. Um, but if she did 150%, <laughs> she'd have done amazing! She'd have done crazy good! But... What's even bigger is that Hendrickson's passive is increased damage of allies' debuff cards by 50%. So not only should be doing 150%, on top of that, her poison card would be an extra 50. She would be an insane DPS unit. If this is real. Now, here's the big deal though. Is it worth summoning for her on global? No. Even if this is the correct translation, even if they buffed her, even if they buffed her, it's still not worth summoning for her. Why? Who, who's running? a bleed poison shock team on global currently no one because there isn't one there isn't a, a team made for that currently the team made for that was just made on jp of these two characters that just released they just released on jp and that's how you can actually run that team a, a, a bleed poison shock team that's the only way without these two characters that are not on global you cannot run this team so there's no point in using mono, even if she got buffed. So I still say it's... do not summon. Um, oh, I'm sorry, uh, skill filter. I wanted to filter characters with these poison, bleed, and shock. Actually, let me put one by one so I don't mistake it. So let's say poison, right? Oh, you can bring green Halbrum. <laughs> nice, for your poison. Um... Shock. Red Gil Thunder. Bleed. Well, that's three characters. So... I mean, you can, you can bring Mono herself. Right? No, 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 no. Actually, okay. 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 Bleed, you bring Mikasa. Right? Instead of helping you bring Mono. Because she can poison. Right? So you have the three characters. 
Now this seems amazing. Huh? Huh? Gale Thunder? Gale Thunder? Nah. It's not gonna it's not gonna happen. Right? You're not gonna do well. The only version of the team that works is the one that just came out. So like even if it's the best buff of all time, it's still not worth summoning. Again, I made a video um, on what characters should save for, and honestly, I would say your best bet is saving for Elizabeth's Banner. Elizabeth's Banner is amazing, and it's probably your best bet. Just save for that. The only way this mono would be good is if, and only if, Global goes absolute mental and releases King and Hendrix the next week. That's it. <laughs> Which is not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen, so. Uh, is there more interesting stuff here on the uh, the patch note? Costumes for Mono, can we get some pictures? Oh yeah. I have this one. I, I mean, do I have this one as well? No, I think I only have this one. Yeah, I, I do have that one. Um, <laughs> I think that's all they released. I, I really hope this is not a mistranslation. I really hope this is real. I truly hope this is real and that JP announces the buff next week. Or, uh, for JP would be, today is, um, Tuesday. So tomorrow, on Wednesday, would be patch notes for JP. If JP announces the monos being buffed, I would actually cry, man, because it would be the best showcase of all time. The, 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 the hottest character. Nah, actually, not the hottest character. He's like top three. Eh. It's like it's like Roxy, Camilla, Mono. Yeah, probably top three, and then Lilia. Um, if we're talking Awaken Lilia, she's Awaken Lilia is number one. Anyways, it would be like. She, this trash character that no one has talked about for the longest time would just randomly become absolute god tier for no reason. And I mean, should be trash in PvE because uh, I mean, these two characters are not that good in PvE, right? These two characters are made for PvP, uh, especially because uh, most enemies in like real, you know, difficult stages cannot be shocked, poisoned, bleed, bled, so the passive throw king doesn't really work, so it's not really that good, um, so Mono's thing wouldn't really work that well. Mono is just garbage for PvE in general, because her ultimate applies bleed, but guess what, most like difficult bosses cannot be debuffed, so you just have a low multiplier for no reason, uh, because you know, she has a mo low multiplier, like 682%, but gets compensated for having bleed, right? So in the next two turns, the enemies will take extra damage. Well, it doesn't matter, because if the boss is immune, the boss is immune and can't take the bleed, so you just have a low multiplier for no reason. Alright. Regardless, don't summon. That's it.